After years of campaigning against a proposal to build a cableway to the top of Mount Wellington, Kunanyi, opponents have welcomed a planner's report that recommends the Hobart City Council reject the project. It's certainly um, a resounding rejection of the development. It's difficult to see how any councillor from the Hobart City Council could find a way of voting in support of this development. Which will hopefully bring us one step forward to ensuring that our ancient sacred mountain Kunanyi is given protection. The $54 million cable car project generated a record number of public submissions to council. The council received more than 16,000. 28% supported the cable car, while about 72% opposed it. The planner's report gives 21 reasons why the project should not go ahead. That includes unacceptable noise emissions, loss of tourism, cultural and visual values, loss of vegetation and swift parrot habitat, and the potential effect on the organ pipe's rock formations. The Mount Wellington Cableway Company says it's still digesting the planner's report. This is a project that's really important. It's worth fighting for, but we need to understand uh, what the council uh, officers have recommended, and we'll do that over the next few days. The Hobart City Council hired external planners with experience dealing with large and complex projects to assess the 1,300-page application against the planning scheme. The council's chief executive says it's arguably the most important planning assessment the council has ever done. The state government supports the cableway, but says it's unlikely to invoke major projects laws. We've said before uh, that uh, the major projects legislation would not be utilised, uh, that it needs to go through the normal planning process. The council will choose whether to reject or accept the planners' recommendations at a special meeting next Tuesday. Laura Beavis, ABC News.